Hey guys, it's Ecoasi Tomar again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you for joining this channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to invite some of you who haven't subscribed to the channel to subscribe. This is really going to help me in bringing more quality videos to you. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to walk you through the cloth component within Unity. We're going to be creating a project using the HDRP and then using the cloth component to apply some deformations to a sphere. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this session, which is basically what I have here in a video. If I go forward, oops, let me go ahead and open it up. I wanna pause it so that I can show you what it's doing. So, so what it's doing is I'm using cloth on the spheres to basically be able to deform the sphere. And the reason why I did this is because I saw, you know, somebody posting about this and I thought it was, you know, it would be cool for the channel to, to learn how to use cloth. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, a basically a unity project very similar to this one where we'll be surrounding the main sphere that is going to contain the cloth component and then everything else is going to be basically a collider that is going to react to changes on the on the collision basically when a collision happens the sphere cloth component is going to react to that so let's go ahead and create a new project to do that and let's go ahead and open the Unity Hub. I'm going to click on New. This one I'm going to call it Unity Cloth Effects HDRP. And the reason why I'm calling it HDRP is because I'm going to use the high definition rendering pipeline. I think it gives it a really cool look. So this is by no means something that we'll use for, you know, for production. It's just for more of a learning lesson. And I'm going to select all of that. And I think everything, I'm going to use also 2018, that one. Then on the high definition rendering pipeline, it's gonna be my template and I'm gonna hit create. Now let's wait until the project gets created. And by the end of this session, just like I, I always mentioned that I gonna check it in into source control and this one is not gonna be, it's also gonna be checked into source control. So make sure that you check that out at the end of this video and also look at the description of this video where I'm going to be putting the link. All right, guys, so it looks like the scene got created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the scene because I only want to focus on the clothes and spheres. So I just deleted the example objects. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to be focusing on creating a couple of spheres, getting it all set up, and then we'll go ahead and look into the cloth component. So I'm going to right click here in the hierarchy and then 3d object and we're going to just create a new sphere and let's also give it a new material so i'm just going to right click on the project area and create a new folder we're going to call it i'm going to create a materials folder and then we're going to create a new material and the new material we can just call it metal let's say that we're bending metal i think it'll it'll look really cool and now i'm going to associate the metal with the sphere now we can tweak the how the sphere is going to look like I'm also going to change the size of the gizmos because they're too big. Now we can focus on, on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make him make it a little bit dark. Then let's see on the metallic. I can just make it look very metallic. There we go. Just increasing the smoothness and the metallic value. I think something like that. 0 0.6 should work fine. And that's perfect. Then what I'll do is, this is a 0, 0, 0. Let's make sure that the camera is centered correctly. I'm going to do, let's, let's see. I want to see the, the procedural sky. So I'm going to set the camera. Let's do something like this, I think. I think that works. OK, perfect. Let's go into game object and then align with view. There we go. Now if we go into the game view, you can see that we're focusing on that area. So for this video, like I said, we're going to be working on cloth. And I'm only going to be setting up cloth and then on the next video we're going to be painting the cloth and then adding some more effects that I think are going to look really cool and also are going to teach you a lot about the cloth component. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just going to rename this one and this is going to be the main sphere. Okay, let me make sure that I name it correctly. There we go. And then what I'll do, I'll make this one a little bit bigger. This one's going to be about, let's see, let's do two, two, two. Then we'll clone it gonna do Alt or Command D in Mac and then I'm gonna set it back to let's try one and see how I think one is fine let's do point point eight 
and 0.8 excellent all right I think I like how that looks now I'm going to be focusing on the up view and let's see negative 3 on Z and let's go into orthographic view perfect so I'm going to be basically placing spheres around the reason why I want to do that is because I'm going to be moving the spheres to collide with the main sphere that is going to contain the cloth component so what I'm going to do is just going to put just basically clone this one and and this is not going to be perfect I'm just basically just going to place them around so that we surround the sphere maybe something like that and then this one is going to be so we're going to make kind of like a circle and this is something that I just barely was prototyping and I posted it in Twitter people really like it so I'm making a video about it all right and then this one as well here we can do maybe this one a little bit to that side and then I'm gonna move this one down okay like I said it doesn't need to be perfect I'm just gonna place them around and we'll see how it looks on the on the game view and if it looks cool then then we'll go with that all right so I think I think that looks cool we'll just make this one let's get this one out and okay something like that I think something like that works now if we go into this view I think we're way too close to the camera so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the field of view uh, let's just change this one about 73 and then we'll also move the camera so let's see something like and we're in ISO mode so let's go ahead and go to perspective so I'm gonna click on the basically the cube to go to perspective and toggle it okay so I'm gonna do I think if we have this view here I think it'll look cool all right and then we'll do game object and then I sign with view go into the game view okay that's that's perfect let's go a little bit closer because I really want you to see the deformation as they're happening and then align with view go back into the camera okay and the reason why you see changes when I make changes in here is because lighting is getting the scene is getting rendered I'm using the HDRP so there's a lot of stuff going on in here okay so now these ones we're just gonna call them we can just call them colliders they, they are spheres but they're only gonna be acting as colliders and then the main sphere we can just call that one I think main sphere is fine I think that explains it okay so I think I'm happy with the way that this looks let's see we could probably mess with see mess with the bloom a little bit okay something like that and temperature I think temperature is fine vignetting we could increment it there we go I think that looks great and then I think I'm, I'm fine with that I'm not gonna go too into I I, I really like post processing so if I if I go on 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 that is because because of that so okay so now let's focus on on this video which is clothing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collapse most of these components and we're gonna create a new component co called cloth we're actually gonna assign that component that unity provides now that we have it assigned we're gonna be these we're gonna see this box basically surrounding the sphere and that is the basically the look and feel that you're gonna see when whenever you add that it basically has the gizmos around and in fact if you if you look at this this is so that you can paint the close constraints so if you wanted to change the max distance of every single one of these points you can change it by doing that I'm not gonna go too much in detail into this because I want to I want to focus on the interaction that right now and then on the next video I'm going to do one where where I'm, I'm more familiar with the painting components and then I can show you right now I don't really feel that familiar with it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna teach you something that I don't know really well okay so now that I have a sphere collider I have all of these ones so how do you actually make this work one thing that I'm gonna that I'm gonna have you do is go into where it says the sphere colliders and this is where we can tell the system that the cloth component that we're gonna be colliding with all these other objects so what I'm gonna do is I have right now let's see I have three here six let me just count it one two three four five six seven eight so we have different the eight different objects that we're going to be associating with this so I'm just going to set the the size of the array to be A and now that we're going to do this we're going to basically expand all of these components and we're going to be associating them with each one of these so I'm going to move the hierarchy to the right side so that we can easily associate those and also change a little bit how my view looks 
Okay, so I think that that's good. So what I'm gonna do is is instead of naming these ones colliders, let's go, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and name them by number so that I know which ones we have assigned. So I'm just gonna make them singular, and I'm gonna just name this one underscore two. It's gonna make it easier as we're assigning them, so I don't lose track of which one is assigned and which one is not assigned. And underscore five, and then six, and seven, and here our last one, which is gonna be eight. Now let's go back into the main sphere, and we can associate it with each one of these. So I'm associating number one, and then number two, number three, let's see, four, let's do five, six, seven, and eight. And of course, you could do this programmatically. Right now, I'm just learning the system, so I think I can associate them by, by doing it by hand. Thing that shows you well what we're doing okay so I think I think I'm good with everything that I need to do here so what I'm gonna do let's actually put in the I'm gonna put in the scene view on this side and we could in fact make them smaller just gonna make it I want to I want you to look and see how this is reacting it's actually gonna look really cool and maybe we resize okay and then these ones have the sphere collider so those was, those are great okay so I think I'm um, I'm thinking happy with everything. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what the simulation is gonna give us. And okay, so we have basically the main sphere falling. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and remove the gravity. I'm going to set the gravity. And we could go in and paint this and, and basically paint the points so that that doesn't happen. But for this video, like I said, it's fine if we just disable gravity. I'm just gonna hit play and you're gonna see what's gonna happen as soon as I start colliding with the main sphere okay and the rendering is happening okay so now if I go ahead and move this you can kind of see how that is affecting the points the vertices on the sphere which is actually really crazy how how fast this is this is happening and let's see you can see how that is reacting which really looks crazy I really love when when we're dealing with physics simulations so so that looks cool, but at the same time, I would I wish the points will go back into place. So, so now we can start messing around with some of the settings that the cloth component provides. So I'm gonna collapse the skin mesh render. I don't need to look at that for now. So you can look at what's called bending stiffness. So let's say that we go to something like 0.8, and this goes from a zero to a one, and I run the simulation again you will see that as soon as I'm interacting with the points, so if I go and say, okay, I want to collide with this again, kind of see how that is going back into place. It's kind of looking like gelatin. <laughs> it's really cool. So if I go, let's say that I put that sphere there, and this is the, the example that I gave in Twitter where, where I was moving the spheres and basically surrounding the, surrounding the main sphere so it looks like it was, it was being locked. And and in fact, I could move this one up, and we can, we can basically. So you can see how the simulation it's it's just creating a, a really crazy effect. And go back down, and you can see how that that is affecting. So if I go, let's say this was kind of a bouncing bouncing ball. Kind of see how that it's making a change. So there's other settings in there that you can play with. There's definitely you know if you want to change it. A strange a stretching a stiffness you can do that and we can change them in real time you can see how that is affecting if I go to a lower number say that I do that now the it looks more of a like a low poly which actually looks really cool like if you wanted to use that for water or other type of liquids I think that that would look really cool so let's go back into here and let's set it all the way up and kind of see that it gets more more circular so now it's not a slow poly. You can also go here, and let's say that I change this number back down. So now if I do this, it's not gonna go back into place because of that setting. It's gonna take a while until it takes the, the values back. So I'm gonna do, let's do point, point 0.9. Move this, let's move this up, and now you can see that that is happening. So I did really like the, the low poly version, so it's gonna do that. And perfect. So now if I move if I move this back, you can actually 
and kind of see how that is that is reacting. So there's other settings in here. Use tethers. I haven't I haven't really used some of those. So also use gravity, which we saw. You can also change the damping on there. You can also change the external acceleration, random acceleration. So you're more than welcome to test, you know, some of these settings. But I think I'm gonna call it good. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Also, make sure that you check out GameDev.net. They have amazing resources for game developers. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page where I'm basically posting videos and also source code ahead of time for the people that are supporting me. So thank you very much, guys.